Good morning. Looks like another day out in the graphite dust today. Uh, I get a lot of demands for round molds, so I've kind of morphed a grizzly drill press into a, a mold making machine. Uh, there seems to be a pretty good market for the round molds. And the graphite gravity mold that I make, uh, it's become real popular because you don't really need a torch for this. You can do it in an old kiln or, or whatever you need. But the setup time was so slow that it was almost time prohibitive. I just didn't have the time to do it. So I'll step out of the way and zoom in and show you what I did. I bought a 4 inch grizzly little hand crank rotary table for my drill press and uh, it had a crank handle on it and I'd crank the handle and, and uh, it will rotate so the rotary table had T-slots on it so what I did is I built a top plate for it and then I put some key stock blocks with adjustable screws to where I can put a piece of graphite in there center it up and uh, be able to cut to the center of the graphite piece so I have my Milwaukee drill motor hooked to that I morphed it into that and then with with the top plate I made I've cut my mold making time to where I can make five molds in the time it used to take me to make one to cut them because of the uh, t-slots and the little clamp blocks and and what have you so I'm gonna reposition here a little bit and get a better view of that so you can see what I've done there instead of cranking the handle now I can just hit the trigger on my drill motor and rotate. So these are thumb screws that I've made out of real long uh, 1032s and each one's got a lock nut. So I set this side up and lock it in position. I set the back side up here lock it into position and then in the process of cutting a mold the only side that I move is this side so I'll cut one extra mold of the size I've got going now I have uh, two blocks you can't see that but these have been surfaced with uh, with a surface cutter so then what I do is I find the nicest side scrape away any of the debris that gets in there and then I slide that in center it and then the one thing I've learned and I've learned it the hard way uh, you don't have to crush a graphite to, all you have to do is hold it reasonably uh, so I get going there and I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm going to move the camera and uh, we'll cut this mold. Okay, i am got the camera in a new position. I had to move the light because it was glaring. So I'm going to turn on the vacuum but I'll have to talk pretty loud. So I turn on the vacuum. Well, I'm back. Uh, I just went to start this up and lost the starting capacitor on the motor, which says you get what you pay for. So, let's try this again. I'm going to turn on the cutter and hopefully this time it'll run. Oh, success. 
stuff. Okay, now I'm gonna... I'm gonna start the vacuum. Hopefully it will be able to go. And I'm gonna take it all the way down and then I'm gonna just pull the trigger on my drill motor. Reach over. Give it a little more diameter. When I'm sitting in front of this, I can do this a little smoother. In fact, this, this machine probably doesn't have 50 hours on it. The spindle bearings are already shattering. So possibly I'll shut down this summer. Instead of going gold canning, I'll tear this thing apart and put new bearings in it. But anyway, this is going to be a gravity mold when it's done. And, uh, and I just bump it around, turn off the cutter, turn off the fan, and then it's just a matter of just a half a turn each one. And that's the start of the gravity mold. They all work the same. I'm getting ready to do uh, an inch and a half, so I'm going to have to set this out a little bit. So I'm going to go back on standby. I'm running out of battery. Okay, it didn't take much to adjust this. You just run these out. I'm making this for a young man that he uh, buys quite a bit of molds. But you can see why I tend to stay away from the one-off items. They're, uh, a little bit slow. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the block out and put a center mark on it. I'll be back. Okay, I had to kill the light. I put a center mark on the piece of graphite. And I run that down, and I can tell I'm just a hair off. So what I do is I just center it on it. Okay, and then I just hold pressure down on that. And I just screw these in. Till they touch, just to the point that they touch the graphite. Don't shift it at all. Put that down again. Hold it. Okay, this side's going to be my adjustable side. So now that I've got those run there. I tighten the lock nuts. Okay, I run those in. And lock the lock nuts that turn a little bit. Excuse my hand being in the way. Hold that just a little bit and then hold against it. Now I've got two locked and these two floating. And then they just snug it up and uh, I'm ready to go on this. I'm gonna reposition the light maybe so you can see better but this is going to come out the same mold I just cut so what I have to do now is is uh, run it out and that's where the time consuming part comes so 
I'll reposition this light. Maybe if I get the light behind the... Oh, that's not too bad. So we'll see what we get here. I get the camera right in my way, but anyway, this is the process that I go through, and then what I'll start doing is, this is going to come out a one-inch circle, and I want to take it out to a one-and-a-half, so... You can see the just of it, what I'm doing here. But anyway, there's just a little bit more of uh, making do with what you got. So, you can do just about anything you want to do if you put your mind to it. But I'll tell you one thing this episode. I've been getting ready to buy a CNC router, and I've been looking at all the brands. And I guarantee you I'm going to spend more money and buy an American-made one. Uh, enough said. Anyway, thanks for watching.